Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about offering websites for your users. So I know a lot of you are actually running a SaaS and some of you are running an agency, but basically you're servicing some users. And as you've probably noticed is that your users at some point will want to have a website. So for example, if I have a SaaS and I offer marketing services for podcasts, let's say. So this is a SaaS for podcasts and my users are going to log into this dashboard, let's say. And in here they can maybe do some scheduling for social media posts or view some analytics about their podcast. And at some point, my users will want a website for their podcast and what I don't want. And if you're running a SaaS or you're running an agency, what you don't want is that your users will go to some third party tool to create that website and they will basically leave your uh, sphere of influence basically and go to some other player to get the website. That's not what we want. So ideally, I also want to have a tab here where the user can create their own website inside my platform. Right? So they should be able to maybe give their business name, maybe a description, and then I want to be able to generate a website for them. Now we could create this website building capability ourselves from scratch. However, it's a lot of work. It's very error prone. There are so many moving parts. And also you need to have some sense of design, right? Because it needs to look good. So it's a it's very hard to do that ourselves. So I actually want to introduce you to 10 webs solution for this. They are today's sponsor and they actually have a really interesting API for adding this website building capability inside our own platform. So basically we can make an API call from our own platform to 10 web and 10 web will generate the website and will return the URL. Basically, I'll show you how it works in a second, but basically we can keep our users inside our own platform. We can hit the API of 10 web, spin up a website and deliver the website to the user all without the user leaving our platform. Right, so 10 web is essentially bringing a very powerful AI website builder to our customers. We can keep it under our brand and I've been playing around with it. It is indeed an easy integration. All right, now how can we get a sense of this website builder? Where can we see it? Well, if you check out the link in the description, you'll find a link to uh, 10 web. Uh, if you go to their homepage, they also have a generate AI website on their own website. So if we just quickly uh, look at it, you can see how they have essentially implemented an AI website builder on their website. So you can see it's gonna be something like this with an input, right? So this is what 10 web itself has created as like a prompt area for the user. We can design something similar to be inside our own platform here as well. And when we click the button, in this case, generate, we wanna hit the 10 web API endpoint. So let me actually show you the uh, API endpoint documentation so we can get a sense of what we can send and what we get back. So here in 10 web, I've created an account here. There's an option for API, right? So if you go to the link in the description, you can find uh, the API option here as well. And I can generate an API key. I've added the API key to my environment variables here locally for my app. So the goal of doing this is of course that it still feels from the user's perspective that they are on your platform. So. Tenweb allows us to white label this experience essentially of building a website. So we can create a custom domain. So you can customize the domain so it really feels like part of your website or, or app. And we can also white label the uh, admin dashboard itself. So we can add a logo, we can add a name. So we can really make it feel like it's part of our own platform. And now we can take a look at what we can do. So here they have documentation. Of course, this may change over time, but as of recording, this is what it looks like. So there are two relevant uh, sections here. It's AI and website. So typically the first thing we wanna do is create a website. So this is gonna be a post call to slash hosting slash website. This, you can see the full URL here. And what we need to send along with it is that API key that we stored in the environment variable. And then we can specify for the user what we wanna have, what we want the subdomain to be, uh, the region where the website should be hosted. Right, so 10web will also automatically host the website for us. It's gonna be a WordPress instance hosted in the region that we pick here and they have many regions available. We can give it a title of the site. Now the user will need to be able to log into their WordPress instance. So we can uh, generate a username and a password for them as well, or they may uh, fill that out themselves. Now, when we send over that info, 10web will generate the, the website, will set everything up and it will send back a domain ID. So this is just basically creating the WordPress instance. Now we actually wanna create the website design and actually get a, a URL that we can send the user to. So then we have this 
endpoint slash a slash ai slash generate site so this is where we will use that domain id we'll say for this domain id we have we want to generate a site of this business type what's well, going to be a podcast in our platforms case the name of the business and a business description so this is actually all it needs to generate a pretty good looking site i've been playing around with it it looks really good you don't need to specify that much information however if you want you can actually also first generate uh, basically a style guide yourself so you can generate uh, an outline of sections uh, the font uh, the colors and so on and then use that to generate the site but uh, let me just show you how it works with this API endpoint. All right, so now we know, right? So how would we actually implement that inside our own platform? Well, here, well, here I have my page where I want to allow the user to generate a website. Okay, so I have some UI here, but of course we need to hit the API endpoint from our server side. So I basically just created an API endpoint here for slash API slash generate site inside my own application here. So the user will just need to submit a business name and business description, right? So here in our UI, the users are gonna let us know their business name and business description. Of course, you likely already have a lot of data from the user, so you may already pre-fill some information. In fact, you may also already have their style guide, so maybe you already have their colors, and so you wanna use maybe the, the other API endpoint that 10Web offers, that's also possible. But let's say the user is just going to use the business name and business description here. So the first part we have to do is actually make an API call to hosting website. This will spin up basically a website instance on the 10 web platform and it needs to know the subdomain. So we're just going to take that business name and manipulate it a little bit to make it suitable for a subdomain. We can pick a region. They have many regions available. I just picked this one. Uh, the title of the site, the admin password so the user can actually log into their WordPress instance. I just hard coded something here to see if that would work. We could add uh, input fields here for those as well of course but uh, let's just try this out so i'm going to submit that data with the api key to that endpoint and it will give us uh, some data here which is going to be the domain id then we can actually generate the ai website so we make an api call to ai generate site we pass along our api key again and here we want to specify that id and then here we specify what kind of business this is this is a podcast uh, business so it knows how to design the website basically the name and a description. So it will automatically generate uh, some images, some text that is suitable for this information. So ultimately we will, we will get some data from there, including the URL that we can then send the user to. That's what we're going to respond with from this API endpoint. And that's what I'm hooking into from the front end, right? So here on our actual website page, um, we have the UI here. So we have that form where the user can fill out the business. And when the user submits that form, we hit that API endpoint, right? So here we uh, set loading to true. We call the API with the information the user specified. Ultimately, we will get a result and we will just show that for now on the page, okay? Let's actually see if this all works. So let's say my podcast name is uh, Podcast Universum, a uh, podcast about mysteries of the universe, okay? I'm going to generate the site and we just have to wait a couple of seconds and uh, I'll get back to you when it's finished. Now, while we're waiting, by the way, we can go to our websites here in the 10Web dashboard and you will already see the instance of the website at some point here as well. So that is just from hitting the hosting website API endpoint. So it has already spun up a WordPress instance for the user. So now after that, it will actually design the website and make it look good. But you can see it already has a URL here as well, automatically generated from the uh, business name that we gave it. You can see right now there is nothing here yet. So uh, the second API API will actually generate the design and make it look good. So we just have to wait a little bit for that. You can see we have some nice data here. Um, 10 Web has been 10 Web has all the options that you would expect from a host. Uh, looks really good. I had a great time using it. Um, and as you'll see, the design is actually pretty good as well. All right, I just refreshed, and now we have a complete website created for our user. So uh, you can see it has created all of this text, these images, some map even. And yeah, we have a very solid website here that we can offer to our user. Now, 10Web will actually give you the URL back. Unfortunately, I forgot to add the await here, so I will quickly generate another site here. Very easy, I will just change up the words a little bit. And if I refresh, I have another website right here, right? So the websites will populate right here in your dashboard, but your actual users will not have to go here. You can just uh, output a URL, let's say, to the admin dashboard, and so they can log in with the uh, 
admin username and password that they may have specified here in your form as well, right? So of course here we are just hard coding uh, the admin username and password just as an example here, but you can customize this any way you want. That's not a benefit here. You can provide the exact experience that you would like to offer. And actually I just generated another one. So actually my third one, I'm on the free demo. So you can actually use three in, in the free uh, trial. But at some point you will get a result back from 10 web, including the URL. So we can, uh, we can just show the URL to the user, they can click that and they will go to their website. And so they can inspect their website. You could even show it in let's say an iframe right here on the page as well. Right, so here I'm just outputting the result as just a JSON so we could see what we get. But of course you can also render something like your website is ready, view it here. And you can also just add the slash admin for WordPress or WordPress admin to the URL so they will go immediately to the dashboard, right? So you could also just make the URL, you can just append forward slash WordPress admin so that they will actually go to the admin dashboard for that website. We can also use auto login with the WordPress admin dashboard so we can have uh, two buttons, one button for go to website, which will actually showcase their website. And then another button, let's say for open dashboard. And if they click that, they go directly to the admin dashboard. We can make it so that they don't even have to manually log in. So we can generate an auto login token with 10 web as well and improve the experience even more that way, right? So of course they would have to log in and uh, use the credentials that they, spec that they specified on your uh, website. But here they go to the uh, familiar WordPress dashboard. So by default, you will get some uh, plugins here. Let's actually take a look. So this 10 web WordPress instance comes with the 10 web builder and also the elementor here so your users can then further specify things build it out and so on so really slick actually uh, i think this makes your SaaS or your services as an agency or even freelancer even more valuable you can help your users even more you can also configure webhook urls so you can be notified when the website is finished uh, you can add custom domains so uh it doesn't have to be this uh, domain here. You can customize this further. You can even white label the WordPress admin uh, with your own logo and the name. So it becomes a really white labeled experience and we can change the pre-installed plugins here as well. So really cool actually. I think this is one of the more impressive AI tools that I've seen so far. I think 10web has done a great job. I would say check them out. You can find a link in the description. In any case, I wanna thank 10web for sponsoring the video. I wanna thank you for watching. Have a nice day, bye.